Assalamu alaikum, my name is Halima and welcome to another episode of Quran Rehab's Q&A Tuesday where each week I answer any questions that you might have regarding myself, Quran Rehab or our general relationship with the Quran. So let's take a look at today's question. So today's question is from Hamza who writes from India and he says Jazakallah khairan for all the inspiring work you do. I find that all the tips and advice that you offer in your videos and articles very helpful. Well, you're more than welcome and I'm very glad to hear that. Um, I had a question regarding mental distractions. Okay, so it sounds like a fab question already. Every time I sit to read or memorize the Quran, I get distracted. Not so much from the things that go on around me, but from my own thoughts. And I don't know how to focus. What do you advise to overcome this? Well, let me start by first saying that I absolutely love your question, Hamza, because I think it's something that we can all relate to. Because we, most of us live very busy and hectic lifestyles where we're constantly having to think about you know, the tasks that we have throughout the day, about making decisions, etc. And me, even personally, I find myself to be quite a deep thinker. And often when I'm doing a task, I'll fall into you know, the thought process and things like that. So why is it exactly that whenever we sit down to, um, you know, for our Qur'an period, whether that's to memorize, to study, read or reflect, that we're often distracted with our mental thoughts and ideas? Well, interestingly enough, it's because when our bodies are in a physical, physically relaxed state, so we're not doing much physically or we're doing um, actions that are quite repetitive and routine, so we don't need to consciously be aware and, you know, present with those actions, that our minds also go into a meditative state and this creates the perfect conditions for the birth of new ideas and for recalling information that we've been nagging our brains all day not to forget and that's why some of our best ideas or our you know are the best times where we're able to recall things happen when for example we're you know sitting down to study the quran or we're standing in prayer or we're in the shower or lying down to sleep etc am i not right so how exactly can we prevent this natural process from affecting the time that we've set aside to work on our Qur'an related goals? Well, my top tip that I personally use would be to get yourself a small journal like this and carry, carry it with you at all times. So this is an example, I mean, I go through dozens of um, journals, but um, what I do is I usually keep one that's around this size and, this, and it's quite thin. And I carry this with me all the time or I have it at hand. So it's always with me in a room or in my handbag, etc. And what I do with this journal is basically every time I have one of these ideas or one of these reminders in my head or any thoughts, I immediately jot down these mental notes on physical paper for me to deal with at a later time. I mean, you could alternatively use the notes section on your phone as well if you don't have your journal at hand. And what this does is it actually just relieves um, yourself of the mental pressure to remember these things that you've come up with, whether they're ideas or, or thoughts or, or you know, things that you, you have to remember, tasks, etc. And it allows you to have a much more clearer mind in order to focus with the task at hand, whether that be a Quran study and memorization or any other task. Because as they say, what's out of sight is out of mind. Now, I would love to hear from you. When do you most often experience these type of mental distractions? And what type of tip techniques and tips do you use to focus with the tasks at hand? In order to let me know, just leave a comment below, inshallah. Now, did you like this video? If so, why not subscribe below and uh, share these with your friends? And inshallah, if you would like more uh, tips and techniques and resources to help you take your relationship with the Quran to the next level, then why not head over to quranrehab.com and subscribe for our very interesting updates. My name is Halima. You've been checked into another episode of Quran Rehab's Q&A Tuesday. So until next time, inshallah, take care.